This is Code.org, CS Discoveries. I am working on Unit 2, which is their web development unit, and currently I'm on Lesson 11, which is Styling Elements with CSS. I'm on Part 12 of that, Styling Your Website. Great. We finally get back to the page that we have been creating, and we get to, well, style it. Try out some of these new CSS properties on your personal website. Add styling of your choice to your website. Be sure to use at least three new CSS properties. Checklist. At least three of the following CSS properties are used. Oh, we can definitely do more than that. And, uh, oh, what's it say? We encourage you to use more than three. I can even search for some new ones we haven't learned yet on my own. Um, I'm going to mess with what we already have because that will be plenty for me. Quick review. Remember, the reason CSS is working on this page is that it is linked in the head tag. So in between the head tag, CSS is working here because I have this, right? The less than sign link rel equals style sheet in quotes. That will always be style sheet space herf equals and then in quotes, whatever I named my CSS sheet. Here I named it style.css. If I named it bob.css, I would need to write bob.css. That's what says, hey, take all the stuff in here and apply it to, whoops, whoops, here. Or also, notice on my list page, I also linked it in the head. On my projects page, I didn't. So none of the CSS works on this page yet. Let's go ahead and get going on this. So it wants us to add some of the elements that we have learned. We already did background body. Um, let's do background color now that we know we can be a bit more specific. And I might actually want to change this to light green. Mm, oh, maybe light blue. Let's see. I do like how light blue works. Looks. Um, and then let's go ahead and I remember first off, we did a lot of stuff with image tags in this lesson. So I want to add image and this will change every image. I always, by the way, when I write a CSS element, I always open and close the bracket so I don't forget. Now, let's start messing with the images. Um, let's see, let's change, I wanna change the size of them first. So width to, I don't know, 250 PX. Let's see what that is. Oh, I like that much, much more. Let's try out, remember float? Let's see what that did. I'm gonna start typing it and then, up oh, pops up, sure, I can click. And it's also gonna give me the properties right here. If it doesn't, you can always just go back, delete the word, start writing it again. That way, if you forgot some of your options, it will tell you them. I'm going to say, let's float right. Oh, yeah. See how that moves over to the right? I really did like that. I want to leave that. I also am going to do some whoopsies. Um, oh, I left off a semicolon. That's important. I'm also going to do border uh, style, hyphen style, right? And I really liked around my images. I liked the double. So let's add that. And currently that is just a black color, but I'm gonna add, well, let's change the border width first. And I liked having it a bit bigger. Let's try three PX. And now border hyphen color. Yep, I'm gonna click on it here to save me time. And I'm gonna make that, um, let's try yellow. Oh, I like that. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, maybe let's make this bigger. Five? Oh, that's a bit easier to see. Yeah, that looks great. So now that's changed up my images light uh, quite a bit. Oh yeah, let's do border radius as well. So always add this semicolon, border hyphen radius, and I can just select that. And I'm gonna say, uh, let's try 20 PX. Oh yeah, rounded them. I might even want more though on this one. 50 PX. And remember, if you have multiple pages, which you should at this point, you need to make sure to put it in the head of each tag and it will apply to all of your stuff on each page. So there we are. I didn't actually add it to this page yet. Notice it's not added yet. So I'm gonna in the head tag, go ahead and write. Let's see, it was link rel equals, and I think style sheet, space, herf equals, and then in quotes, I named my style sheet, well, style.css, and close, and boom. Now it applies to this page as well. The final thing I really like doing is having a border around my whole page. 
So I'm gonna do border hyphen style. Oh, there we are. And I'm gonna say, I liked it dashed around the page. And it already is applying to that content, right? Around the body of the page. And so now I'm going to say um, the color of it. Let's go back to, uh, yeah, border siphon color. Uh, I was gonna set it as yellow as well. Cool, I like that a lot. Notice how now my image looks kind of weird. You might want to make adjustments to your pages as you're adding this if you think, hey, that's not exactly what I was hoping it looked like. So I'm gonna take this, cut, and I'm gonna actually move it to the top, paste, and see what that looks like. Oh yeah, I like that a lot more. Oh, except this copyright thing I have that I added, I am going to go ahead, project of industry, yep. I'm gonna move that to the bottom of my page. Paste, there we are. I like that a lot more. Um, let's give our images a bit of a margin. Style SS. Oops. Yep, let's see, where's that? Yep, and we remember we could just add a margin and then 10px. And if you forget how to do some of this or you're like, well, I remember I could do this on one element before, you can always, I'm gonna add a margin to my paragraphs too, of 10px. You can always just click back up here and go back through and take a look at earlier parts of the lesson to remind yourself how we did all this stuff that well, we did. Um, I'm really liking that. So I think I am good to go. We are all done then with lesson 11. Victory!